to a new video. In today's video, we're going to take an in-depth view and look at my all-new spoiler design. Let's check it out. So this is what the spoiler looks like. It is made out of full carbon fiber, 1.5 millimeters thick, and it is operated by a micro servo underneath, which I'll show you later. Um, it's full carbon fiber and it has these longer bolts so that it fits um, perfectly and I'm using a special hinge tape um, that I'll show you as well and I'll have the link of the of all the products and parts that I have here I have them linked in the uh, description box below so uh, make sure you check those out as well very cheap um, very dope very durable as well so let's check it out and let's see what's under the body this is what it looks like under the body. It doesn't look too complicated. We have our ESC, battery connected, and I told you guys that I destroyed one of my batteries. It was leaking, so I'm still running one battery, but I will get a new one before we're gonna do the speed runs, I'll promise. Now, we have a harness here. The micro servo is located right there, and it's operated with this hinge, and a um, airplane um, arm connected to a metal rod and connected to the micro servo. Now this micro servo is held in place with double sided tape. Now this is not like any other double sided tape. It has, um, it's like extra super strong double sided tape. Very nice. Um, so this is not going to go anywhere super tight and super strong. I love it. And the, the wire of the servo is going down here. Now what you'll see is a harness. There is a Y harness right here. So let me show you how it works. The ESC wire goes there, you can see it. Then it goes under this carbon fiber plate. Then it goes into the Y harness on one side. There you, you can see it and notice that the, um, if you ever want to do this with a Y harness, the, um, um, the, how do you call it? The connector on the ESC wire does not fit in the uh, Y harness. So you have to modify the ESC wire a little bit, but you can just use a wire cutter to do that. Very simple. And then it fits right in. Um, now also, what you'll see is this other wire. The micro servo connects to the other end and then this goes into the receiver box into the channel 2 slot all right so where the ESC would normally sit in and you can just connect it you can take it out can do it with one hand I think but you can take it out pretty easily and uh, so it's plug and play so I'll turn everything on remote on ESC on and now I'll give it a little bit of throttle and you'll see what happens with the spoiler you see very sensitive some other cool parts out of carbon fiber as well because I had a sheet of like 30 centimeters by 20 so I have more than enough so uh, also what I ordered 
little heat sink. Showed it in yesterday's video. Sits on a motor there, very nice. And um, so yeah, let's go over to the other carbon fiber parts that I made. Let me plug out the battery. If I can do one hand so I can show you the carbon fiber bed that I made. Look at that, full carbon fiber, very nice, looks good. Um, yeah, now also, I have a carbon fiber plate right here. This usually was, originally uh, originally was the, uh, the EC mounting plate that I cut in half, remember? So, but it didn't look that good. I mean, it was okay, but I know we can do better. So I made this, this carbon fiber plate, so the EC wire goes under there, so it doesn't um, look un too unprofessional. Now also, I have this little chassis brace made out of carbon fiber, and I lost one of those C-clips, so I just put a bead of hot glue on there, also shown in, in uh, yesterday's video. And now, since I had so much carbon fiber, I made something very cool. Let me turn the car over for you. Now look at that guys, it is a full carbon fiber chassis skid plate that I made, very very smooth. And as you can see, the band for the battery just goes like that, no problem. Um, remember, like very long time ago I had a, uh, like a, a T-bone racing rear bumper, and it came with longer screws, and um, I figured, hey, why not use them? So the screws, these two are actually longer, so it doesn't, um, you know, um, so they go in just as far as the original screws, so I don't have to worry about losing my gearbox or something. Same thing at the front, the middle one is a longer one, these two are the same, but I put some threat locker on there as well, so we should be all good, I think. It sits very, very tight, very hard, very nice. I don't think um, this video will do quite the justice, but it looks so damn cool guys so yeah guys that's it for today I really hope you like it because this is world's first rustler I mean RC car with a spoiler slash air brake let's take one more look very nice so yeah guys that's it for today make sure you like subscribe I have all the products that I bought um, in the description box below, including the hinging tape, uh, what I talked about. And um, yeah, make sure to check them out, they're awesome. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!